Welcome back to the Deliberate Leaders Podcast. I am your host and executive business coach, Allison Dunn. Our guest today is Katie Carpenter. She is our executive health and wellness coach here at Deliberate Directions. She brings expertise in nutrition, functional movement, strength training, and NLP mindset coaching. Katie is our guide to help clients uh, do a pr- transformative process towards optimal health and profound discovery. Katie, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I love to kick these off with a deliberate conversation. So what would be your number one leadership tip for our listeners today? I am going to have to keep it simple with ownership and just understanding that ownership is leadership, taking ownership and leading the team and enabling others to take ownership so there is a collective movement forward towards the same goal. I love I like operating from a, a position of ownership is just such a strong place to come from. So I love that tip. Okay, Katie, so um, share with us what exactly is health and wellness coaching? Health and wellness coaching is a holistic approach to your health. It's not just about one secular portion of your health, like just movement or just nutrition. It's all of them combined, but with a strategic approach within each area. Okay. Um, when you're working with clients, obviously you're, you're, you're focusing on a variety of facets. So can you talk me through what that might look like? Yeah, actually, I love sharing this with people is I like to take a framework around the self the person and there, I describe it as about four bodies of energy of the self. So if you were to think about it like a little pyramid, um, I love the foundation of it being physicality. So physical, there's a physical energy or physical body to the self that creates a expansive capacity within the emotional, mental, and spiritual portion of the self. So being physical can immediately move someone towards creating more capacity and clarity within emotional and mental. So that's just kind of a quick way to jump into creating immediate capacity and expansion and growth within the self. Um, So yeah, that's kind of the foundation of the four bodies of self that we approach and take people through. Okay. I think that a lot of people think when they think about health and wellness, they do a lot of focus on either exercise and movement, um, or nutrition. Like when, when people talk about it, I kind of feel like they kind of focus in on one area or another. Let's just like kind of dive into nutrition. There's tons of fad diets. There's lots of ways that we are kind of told how to do it best. So what is your positioning and what are your suggestions just to anyone who would be listening? What should they be thinking about? That is such a great question. And I agree with you. There is so much confusion and so much information to take in about diets and nutrition and fad diets. So I I like to begin with people is like, let's just start with our habits around food and creating structure around how we take in nutrients so that it's not such a hot topic as far as like what to eat um, and how much to eat, things like that, is we can start with habits. Um, There is, so beginning with structure is like, we can start taking people through just getting back to just eating those three meals a day, right? Let's simplify things, sit down, give yourself the time and space to think about your food differently and slow down. Think about it being nutrients and nourishment for the body. So it becomes a different relationship with food versus it just being something that someone's telling you to do. It's something that you're actually having an experience with. Yeah. Um, like you, I've been eating a long time, right? Um, and the concept of macronutrients is honestly, like it's something new to me. And so um, I would like for you to at least help our listeners maybe understand how to think about mat- macronutrients when talking about nutrition. Okay, yeah, this is getting a little bit into a little bit more in depth to it. Yes, and that's what I was talking about. Food is nutrients and nourishments, macronutrients, which is macronutrients are carbs, fat, and protein, right? Is the biggest, yes, those three things, carbs, fat, protein. And something is a fat if most of what's within it, the biggest macronutrient within it is fat, then it's a fat. 
right? But there are, again, qualities of other nutrients within that food. So sometimes there's protein and there's a little bit of carbs. So, but the emphasis is, is that if it's mostly fat, then it's considered to be a fat. And those macronutrients give us energy and help our body heal and create new cells and uh, repair muscle and our immune system. So yeah. just some basics on that. Um, you make it sound so simple. Um, and <laughs> fat diets sometimes make it feel like it's so very complicated. Um, when, um, when you are thinking about working with someone um, who is an executive, obviously someone maybe who wants to optimize or maximize their health, what are some of the things that you help them identify? Great question. So when I'm working with a busy executive, usually an example of a few of my clients, they're already on the path to health and wellness. In some degree, they're checking the box, like they're showing up for themselves in some degree. They just know that they can do a little bit more. So we'll look at things like, okay, so you want to compete in a triathlon. So we want to optimize your endurance, um, things like that. So we need to optimize your recovery as well. So we'll specify on certain supplements or a higher nutrient intake of something specific like magnesium and his uh, sleep routine and some strength training to offset all the fatigue from endurance. So we'll just specify, we'll look into the program collectively, um, from nutrients, movement and recovery, right. Mm -hmm. To make sure that he's optimizing his whole health, not just one secular portion of movement. Yeah. So I just want to, um, kind of maybe do a little bit of an endorsement at this moment in, in our conversation. You know, I was not trying to run a, a triathlon. I wasn't trying to run a marathon. I wasn't necessarily actually even like aiming at something specific, but I did want to optimize and maximize my energy and my health. And Katie, you transformed the way that I think about how I spend my energy and how I've been able to transform my body, just be strong. So. Um, for listeners who think, oh, this only applies to me if I'm going to try to run an Ironman or a triathlon, that is not true. I, it has definitely impacted. I think um, the area of the business that I focus on is helping um, the leaders run a, a strong business and the executive health and wellness side of it is just to be a strong person, right? And, you know, feel as maximized and um, optimized as possible. So, yeah. All right. Um, I am going to wrap this up. Do you have any final uh, thoughts for our listeners before we close this episode? No, I just wanted to share with everyone a little, um, give them a little insight into what health coaching could be for them. And we do truly indiv individualize that. So we take a holistic picture of where you're currently at. We help you create a vision of where you want to go with your help. And then we create sustainable steps to help get you there. So Awesome. Katie, thank you so much. I appreciate you deeply and thanks for joining us here today. Thank you.